Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio. Welcome to another In Motion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a WordPress subject which is coming up with the new release of WordPress 5.0. We're talking about Gutenberg. The Gutenberg is the internal project from WordPress that is going to be replacing the editor that's used for editing your pages and posts. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to switch in and out of the editor as it's important right now if you're using a plugin that uses the old editor then you need to use the old editor but um, we'll also show you how to get back into Gutenberg and use that as well. Before you use the Gutenberg editor make sure that you understand that it is currently a plugin that's in development it's at version 2.4 right now and it shouldn't be used in a live environment. You can use the plugin but Understand that there may be conflicts that WordPress still hasn't worked out yet. Please be careful before using this application. So before you begin using Gutenberg, you have to remember that it is a plugin and it needs to be loaded. In the future, they plan to roll in Gutenberg into the WordPress default core. So you won't even need to load it then. So at this point, when you go into the WordPress homepage, you'll see that they have a Gutenberg plugin here that you can download. First, make sure that you're logged into the WordPress administrator, and then you can install the plugin if necessary. You can see that I have it installed in this particular installation. When Gutenberg is installed as a plugin, you'll see that it appears in the sidebar menu here. There is demonstration options here, and you also have a feedback and documentation. Gutenberg is made to edit both your posts and pages within your WordPress site. So here we're going to go to posts and then you can see that if you hover over an article that's been saved you can see that it's either going to be just edit or classic editor. The classic editor is the original TinyMCE based editor provided with WordPress. If you click on an article that's been edited and you have Gutenberg loaded, it will automatically load Gutenberg's editor interface. If you want to use the original Tiny MCE editor, then you'll need to go back to the, all your posts and list them all again, and then select Classic Editor underneath the post that you wish to edit. So if I click on Classic Editor, you'll see that this is the original format interface here. Now this is important for those of you who are using plugins where that plugin relied on the MCE editor. An example of one may be the embedding plugin that's used for embedding like PDFs or Word documents. That completes the tutorial for using the Gutenberg editor and switching in and out of it. If you want to go back to using the Gutenberg editor and you're in the older classic editor, then you simply need to go back to the list of your posts or pages and then select the article again it will automatically load the Gutenberg editor for you. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. We hope you really liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.